Hey guys, I'm Josh Douglas and I'm out here on one of my local ponds practicing one of my favorite ways to catch bass and that's throwing the old wobblehead. You know, uh, the wobblehead's been out for a while. There's different versions of it on the market today, but one that I want to introduce you to, one that I'm loving a lot is the Outcast Tackle 401k wobblehead. And basically what it is, is, is it's your standard wobblehead style design. It's got a clip on it and the clip allows me to throw any hook I want. And, and I really like throwing the Gamagatsu, the four out super line is one of my favorites. So that's a huge bonus to me in that this clip, it's sturdy, it won't break off. It's, it's, it's awesome. I'll, I'll show you how to rig it in just a second, but I can put on a, a good hook. And that was one problem that I was not liking with traditional wobbleheads. But one bigger key that I like about this is the design of the actual wobblehead itself. You know, this is a spinoff of Ocast Tackle 401k jig that, that Troy Morrow from the FLW Tour helped design. And it, it's a great concept, but what I love about it so much as a wobblehead is, is it, it actually has some characteristics of that of like a square bill. It's got that flat head. It looks just like a cross tail and it deflects really nice. It comes through rocks. Uh, they weigh five eighths ounce. They're perfect for me to fish both shallow water. I can throw them out deep. It's so versatile. I always have one on the deck of my boat and, and really the, they're awesome. You know, here I'm throwing like a rage tail craw, your traditional craw style pattern baits. Uh, I'm throwing this on a Daiwa 7.2 heavy action rod. I'm using a seven gear ratio, zillion reel, you know, something that I can pick up real quick because the key is this thing is I'm either dragging it or I'm reeling it kind of like a crankbait and it's deflecting, deflecting, all of a sudden the fish hit it almost like a swim jig. And the key, I need to have a fast gear ratio so that I can really pick up on them really quick. But uh, they're, they're so versatile. Some of the different ways that I'll get fish out on these deep rocks or these shallow, these shallow rocky gravel areas to bite would be, you know, you can go big. Here I'm throwing like the big Kitek swim bait on one. It's awesome, you know, you still got that kick, realisticness, you had a drags on the bottom, awesome, awesome deal. You can go finesse here with like a small tube craw, you know, and, or, or you can go with the bait that I believe this whole thing was designed for, and really it's simple. We got the old, the old zoom, speed craw, and this is simple. These are the three things you would need to rig it, and rigging them is really easy. All I'm gonna do is, first I'm gonna rig my my bait and I want to rig it Texas style. And just peg it just a little bit so I can throw it around some of them coontail clumps and milfoil, that hydrilla. And then to clip it onto the actual bait, it's real easy. The spring's actually set for it. It, it can't get up once it gets in without pressure in a way that would be opposite of that of a fish fighting you. I'm just gonna take the top of the eye and go through the, just like this, pull it out and spin it around and just like that. It's locked in place. You're ready to go make some money on the 401k wobble. Nice fish. Yeah, I'm good. A little alcohol.